What's good guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you a really good adjustment for trips formations, bunch formations. Really, whenever they have a solo receiver and a running back on one side and then the rest of the seat receivers on the other side, I'm going to show you a really, really effective concept for combating some of the most popular route combinations that you see online. Now, you can actually do this out of anything that you want. So you can have any coverage that you want. It's not necessarily conducive. The biggest thing that you need is you need a safety at the top of the screen. So I'm going to show this to you out of overload blitz and nickel over. And we're going to show you how you can kind of use this as a really, really good little blitz play in combination with some really interesting coverage. All right. So the play is overload blitz out of nickel over. And we're just going to come out and the play mesh post. So um, if you guys want to learn my entire nickel over defense, I think it's the most adaptable defense in the game this year. There's a lot of different ways to run it to make it really effective. And uh, if you want to check that out, I've got a full defensive ebook on that. Uh, I have 12 Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks available to you. You get access to all those by joining our Patreon. So $10 gets you access to everything, um, as well as all the updates to that. We're actually going to be dropping a brand new defensive ebook this week, which I'm really excited about as well. Um, but, anyways, let me talk with you a little bit about nickel over. All right. So, how uh, this adjustment works. So, all I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch my defense. And you're going to see here that this safety is kind of like, you know, he's kind of, he's, he's not in a great position to make a play. So if they just throw this flat route, you see that um, we actually get a, a little bit of a man switch, if you will, um, to that side. But typically you're going to be using, you know, you might be using the, the middle linebacker, right? So you might be, you know, using this guy right here. Um, you know, and then what you're going to see here is if they try to throw this quick flat, a lot of times I can just get that ball out to the tight end quick. So how do we make this better? Well, the base, the base setup or the best way uh, to make this really effective, this overload blitz, which I think is the, one of the better blitzes in the game, is we're going to man up the solo receiver with the safety on the left side of the screen and then we're going to man up the running back with the cornerback that's on the left side of the screen from there we are able to now you user this guy right here and this actually gives us a really good um safety guard on this corner route. i'm going to show you why in just a second we can now take this slot cornerback and run whatever coverage we want on the right i'm not too concerned with the right side but i let's just play this as if it was like an overstorm brave but you see that we get a lot or significantly better alignment uh with this with this kind of strategy so what you'll see now is like let's say i run a C route, a wheel route, and then we'll just do something like this on the back side. What you're going to notice here is you should notice that this wheel route that I can snap throw a lot in bunch is now significantly less effective. So you're going to see here, I'm going to try to snap throw this wheel and I'm throwing it right into coverage. Okay. Now, um, that's a great way to be able to kind of combat uh, some of the snap throw running back wheel routes that are really popular. Another thing that you can do with a play like this overload blitz, though, is nickel over is, like I said, super versatile. So you can man up. If we wanted to, we could man up the defensive end on the running back. And then what it's going to leave is it's going to leave this little pressure here on the right side. Now, we're going to have to still get out and go guard the tight end at the snap of the ball. But you can see that this can actually be pretty interesting little pressure uh, because that man up of the tight or of the defensive end is another way uh, in which we can kind of get at the same basic thing. So just by manning up the defensive end onto the running back, let me show you that real quick. So you see here, I manned up the defensive end on the running back. Now what I can do on the left is, you know, I could, um, you know, just kind of help with the tight end out there quick, right? So I see the tight end go quick. I'm going to go guard him and notice that we're able to kind of get this little interesting nuanced coverage within this, within this play. Now, like I said in the beginning, you could do this out of other coverages. So let's say, for example, that we're going to run the cover three. Um, we could do it out of cover three, right? So you could do something like this on this side and then drop a curl flat to that backside guy, maybe drop a bluff blitz here. And now you have kind of a cover three on the right and then that man coverage concept on the left. So you'll see here, running backs taken care of. Now I do have to go use her that post route, um, but now I want to dive into the C route. So the C route is arguably the best man beating route in the game. 
you'll see right here that you know a lot of times this is really good against man especially if i have a little better route running there it's one of the better man beaters uh in the game and i'll try to show you with a little bit a little bit better here um but this this route to the c route is super effective right normally he gets a misalignment or beats press really fast this can be very difficult to stop but by doing something like this now we're able to kind of have you know a pretty decent little chance at stopping this so you know let's say we want to run maybe all out man coverage in this example so you know we're going to drop a hook curl here drop a three wreck here maybe do something like this this is a pretty decent little coverage um you know something like this now i want you just to watch the left side of the screen you're going to see with this concept i now have a lot better leverage to be able to go break up that c route with that safety so this is one of the biggest principles in my opinion for defending bunch and you want to put your best safeties in at man cover or your best man coverage players in at safety so now when you have two high safeties you can do this concept all day long now from here this opens up a ton of possibilities with everything else don't worry any much don't worry too much about any of the rest of the play you know, you can do whatever you want on the bunch side, okay? I'm not too worried about the bunch side right now. I just want to show you how powerful this is, again, with the C route. So we'll show you the C route again here, um, and then we'll go into a couple other popular routes that you'll see from bunch. So you see here, again, this is just absolutely bagged. You can't throw that at all. Now, um, I want to go into one other very popular, or two other popular plays uh, from bunch. The first one is bunch trail. So we're going to use the same concept on the right, and then, like I said, on the left side, you can do whatever you want. You know, just for simplicity, we're just going to play man on the back side. But this little adjustment right here is so good. Now, again, when you do this out of the right play, all right, um, which I recommend doing this, you know, not base aligned, the alignment that you get from that safety is significantly better. Um, but anyways, so I got my wheel. And then I've got, you know, maybe we do something like this. Again, kind of bunch trail style play maybe we do something like this but what you'll see here is he has inside leverage for the skinny post as well so you're seeing he has leverage to be able to drive on the three most popular routes that you're going to face from bunch the c route the skinny post and then the last route that we're going to show you is the quick hitting like either dig or the quick hitting drag uh, again, the running back, you know, really is, is kind of neutralized. This wheel route to the running back is not very good uh, whenever you're able to do this adjustment. So, you know, now we've taken away the, the running back wheel. We could even do something like this. If we wanted to hard flat it, let's say we're not worried too much. One thing that I think is really underrated is blitzing this corner from the short side. So, like, if they're running their bunch to the wide side, you can actually blitz that corner as well. Uh, but anyways, you know, we'll just run kind of a traditional... Uh, cover three here, you know, something like this. Let me get that guy manned up on the right guy here. Uh, but you see, so kind of something like this, okay? Just kind of a max coverage. And I want you to watch this dig route on the left side. So you'll see here, whoops, I messed my play art up. We'll see, we'll show you here again this um, this kind of little adjustment. Notice out of nickel over, they, they don't give away the adjustment as bad as they do in other formations. So that's just kind of something... Uh, to think about, you know, they don't really give this away as bad uh, as they do in other things, okay? But anyway, we get a concept. Let's say we get something like this, you know, and they're going to put a backside uh, dig. And you have leverage on the wheel and you have leverage on that dig route. So you see there, that's kind of a tight little window throw. It's not super open. So this adjustment right here is really, really valuable. And you could do this from other formations. Um, the one that comes to mind the most, which I'll show real quickly uh, and just be fairly brief with this, um, is the dollar. And the reason why is because the main blitz from dollar is spinner. So if you come out in spinner, like so, and then you're able to do something like this, okay, now we're able to create this incredible adjustment here and then we're still pretty solid across the board. So like, let's say, you know, our user is gonna stand here, of course, and let's say that we need to get over here to the bunch side, okay? So this will try to illustrate that a little bit. We now don't have to worry so much about the solo receiver side. So they can run something like this on the back side of it, 
And what you'll see here is this drag even, he's gonna lurk that drag really well. It's a very difficult throw. So this is a great adjustment from the, um, you know, kind of any kind of too high safety feel that can make your defense significantly more effective. So I wanna thank you for watching this video. If you wanna learn the rest of the nickel over defense, we're actually gonna be dropping, I think a brand new defense in a couple of days here. Make sure you're in the Patreon. We got 12 eBooks already. We'll cover 146, nickel over, bunch, U-trips, trips tied in, tight. We got a ton of stuff in there and we're continuing to add to it every single day. So thanks for watching the video. Again, if you wanna join the Patreon, the link is in the description below and 10 bucks gets you access to everything over at the Patreon. Yeah.